Hello everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time I'm going to be talking about none other than the spleen. And to do so, I'm going to be essentially exploring these two images that you see here on the screen. So on the left side, we're looking at the diaphragmatic surface of the spleen. And here we see then on the right side, the visceral surface of the spleen. The spleen happens to be a forgotten, one of those forgotten organs that sometimes you ask, what is, what does it do? And here right now we have the highlighted spleen from an interior view of the abdomen where you see a little bit of the liver here retracted and the pancreas, a little bit of the colon. And we just have a few cuts here because we just removed a few structures so we can then expose the spleen. So what is exactly the spleen and what does it do? It is the largest immunological organ of your body and measures about 12 centimeters in length and weighing approximately 150 grams. However, this weight may vary from individual to individual. The spleen is a highly vascularized organ and is purple in color. It lies intraperitoneally in the left hypochondriac region between the ninth and 12th ribs, just inferior to the diaphragm, which we also see a little bit here on this image, the diaphragm. This organ is surrounded by a layer of fibroelastic tissue and its main functions are associated to immune responses in our body, synthesis of antibodies, filtration of blood, lymphopoiesis, and phagocytosis. Now, in order to help you remember the macroscopic anatomy of the spleen, I have here a few helpful hints. The spleen has two borders, a superior and an inferior one, two extremities, an anterior and a posterior extremity, and two surfaces that I showed you before. And we have here the images, a visceral one and a diaphragmatic surface. So let's begin by looking at the borders of the spleen, starting with the superior border, which you see here highlighted on both of these images. The superior border of this organ, also known as the upper margin of the spleen, forms the border between the gastric and diaphragmatic surfaces. There is also this margin here that you see now highlighted, which is then the inferior margin of the spleen. It's also known as the lower margin is the border between the diaphragmatic and visceral surfaces. Now let's take a look at the two extremities of the spleen, starting with this one that you now see highlighted. This is then the anterior extremity of the spleen. The anterior extremity of the spleen is basically the most anterior part of this organ seen here highlighted. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and Master Anatomy.